The cracks were described by the Eleventh Doctor as two parts of space and time that should never have touched, pressed together. They were present in the very fabric of space-time. A crack that appeared to be part of a wall would still be there if the wall were removed. TV, the Eleventh Hour. They were also described as cracks in the skin of the universe. TV, the Pandorica opens, and a split in the skin of reality. TV, the time of the doctor. According to Rosanna Calvieri, the cracks ranged in size from tiny to as big as the sky, and some connected to other worlds, while others led only to silence and the end of all things. TV, the vampires of Venice. Some cracks acted like wormholes and could be opened to allow passage between the places on either side. Rosanna Calvieri and her family traveled through a crack of this kind, TV, the vampires of Venice, as did Prisoner Zero. TV, the eleventh hour. A sonic screwdriver could widen a crack, and if a crack was open wide enough, the forces would invert, and the crack would snap itself shut. TV, the eleventh hour. Other cracks released pure time energy able to wipe individuals from time itself and remove events from history. Time travelers such as the doctor would still remember them, at least so long as the removed event or person did not relate to the time traveler's direct past. TV, flesh and stone, cold blood. Also, when the time energy erased people and events, the consequences would still remain. The Byzantium remained crashed when the weeping angels who had caused it were erased. TV, flesh and stone. Amelia Pond still existed when her parents were erased from history. TV, the Big Bang. As did River Song when her father met the same fate. TV, cold blood, the Pandorica opens, the Big Bang. This time energy was visible as a glow of bright white light, which sometimes extended tendrils from the crack towards nearby people and objects to consume them. TV, cold blood, flesh and stone. The doctor guessed that the time energy from these kinds of cracks had erased events such as the Cyber King walking over London in the Victorian era, and the 2009 Dalek invasion of Earth, the latter being one of Earth's most publicly visible invasions. TV, Flesh and Stone, Clive Finch, a man who Rose Tyler met while researching the Ninth Doctor, similarly theorized that cracks in time were erasing people's memories of previous alien encounters. Pros, Rose, Regardless of the size and what was on the other side, all cracks appeared to be of the same shape and orientation. The doctor stated that the only way to close such a crack was for it to consume a complicated space-time event, such as himself or a large group of weeping angels, all of them together were equivalent to him. River Song volunteered to let herself be consumed, but the doctor, potentially from a position of ignorance, sneered at the idea and said that she wasn't even as complicated as one angel. TV Flesh and Stone. The doctor later proved that being a complicated space-time event could allow temporary immunity to the erasing effects of the time field. He used this to his advantage to pull a piece of the destroyed TARDIS out of a crack. TV, Cold Blood. 